Hey everybody, welcome to a, another broadcast with Catch for Renault. Just wanted to go ahead and uh, let you guys know that uh, I will be, um, let's see, streaming a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Mm, they are going to be kind of squishy and kind of slow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with Ockley. Um But uh, at any rate, I'm actually here with my friend Money Summoner. Um, we're actually uh, doing kind of a, a tag team where we've actually gone ahead and done a duo. This is actually going to be an interesting matchup. Akali versus um, Malazar in the middle. And it's going to be incredibly difficult, if I do say so myself, um, for Malazar to actually um, really take Akali on. Oh, Zyra. Zyra's actually going to be a different story. Zyra's going to be able to um, kind of push Akali around a little bit um, just at the start, but it's really going to depend on where her seeds are. If her seeds are out of place, um, Zyra's actually going to fall fairly easily. Um, I've, gone up at, I've actually gone up against quite a few Zyra's. Uh, Zyra it can be a very powerful champion. Um, she can also be um, a very weak champion, depending on who plays her. Uh, she relies a lot on her seeds. Uh, if you have her seeds on cooldown, um, if you're able just to kind of trample over her seeds and kind of keep her at a distance, you actually do really, really well. Um, unfortunately, Funny Summoner kind of drew the last one, um, drew the last pick. Uh, let's see. I would personally prefer. Um, I would personally prefer Allie. Um, but uh, and he's going to go with Allie. Um, but our jungle is going to be Master Yi. Yi's not necessarily the best jungler in the world. Um, I think Volibear is going to be top. Eve's going to go ahead and she's going to be mid. Um, they do have CC. They actually have um, two stuns. Uh, Tarek's basic stun. Uh, Varus's ultimate stun. They have Volibear who can throw back. Um, we only have Pantheon, and then we also have Ellie to go ahead and do a knock back and knock up. Um, overall, though, <sighs> Darius can overpower Varus, uh, especially early game. And uh, after the early game, it's really going to be extremely, 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 extremely hard um, in order to go ahead and... Uh, you know, have people kind of go together and things like that. Um, but what really ends up happening is they may have the crowd control, but we actually are going to be able to have the assassin control. Um, they're going to have three very, very, three or four very, very squishy people. Zyra is very squishy. Evelyn's extremely squishy, as is Varus. Depending on how they build Tark, Tark can be extremely squishy as well. Uh, Volibear can actually be extremely powerful. Um, but a lot of people don't build Volibear like I build him. Um, I build Volibear kind of a tank DPS, um, mix it in with Warmogs and Atmas, and he's just a beast to be able to deal with. Uh, so, I mean, it can go either way. Uh, Pantheon's going to be top, Yi's going to be in the jungle. Now, Yi actually has a lot of versatility in the jungle. Um, he can clear it very, very quickly. Uh, but also, I mean, his ganks can be incredibly powerful, especially if he has, um, uh, the red buff. If he has the red buff, it's going to be really, really hard to stop him. Uh, he, he not only slows you on hit, um, but with his ultimate, which he can get at six, basically doubles his attack speed and he runs around and basically raffle palming your face. Uh, but he can also be kind of a glass cannon. Um, he's also extremely adept at doing a backdoor. Um, so, I mean, it's very, very rare for, um, actually, I found it very rare for in Yi to actually be in games now. Um, a lot of times Yi isn't in games. A lot of times Yi is really just, uh, you know, kind of a look-pretty champion. Um, and that's the way that Eve was. Eve was a very, very, very look-pretty champion. Um, and she was typically used as a, um, typically used as a, uh, troll champ for people. Um, and since she was used as a troll, um, since she was used as a troll champion, not a lot of people really had a lot of faith.
Um, okay, um, okay. I think I must have missed the, uh, Pantheon, um, I actually missed the Pantheon, uh, top. Um, this is going to be incredibly hard for me, uh, especially since I'm going to have Volibear to deal with. Uh, Volibear is not going to be a very fun, um, champion to go up against as Akali, and I don't really know how Zyra is going to handle Pantheon. So. Ah. Um, I don't see where my top is, either. There he is. Now, the one, um, sorry about that, um, the one major problem with Volibear is that he's not going to have really any kind of, um, any kind of real sustain. Uh, not like Akali. Um, Akali's going to have, uh, a very powerful sustainability, um, both in the, both in the center and also, um, once she hits level 6. Um, Volibear did actually take, um, he did take the, uh, uh, the regeneration amulet, so, I mean, he's going to have a little sustain, except once Akali actually really gets kind of going, um, it's not going to be enough. I mean, as you can see, I mean, Volibear, he just, he doesn't have the sustain that he needs, um, in order to go ahead and handle Akali. Granted, I mean, he was able to do, he was able just to dish out, you know, an absolute massive amount of damage up front, but, um, I mean, he's really starting to kind of fizzle. And I mean, he can't, I'm preventing him from getting any type of CS, um, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that he can do. I mean, granted, Eve can come up, and she can do a massive amount of damage to me, but at this point in the game, I'm not really sure, you know, what uh, what Volibear can do, because, I mean, he's getting zoned so incredibly hard. I mean, as you can see, I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't really even gotten any kind of a, uh, you know, any type of a last hit in, and he's just... I mean, he has, I mean, he has no choice but to, you know, kind of stay back. I mean, if, I mean, really, if he was really, 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 really smart, he'd actually go ahead and he'd actually try and charge me, um, you know, as I moved up, but he's not charging me, he's not taking any kind of an initiative, um, I mean, I, the only thing that he's, you know, right now able to get is just, you know, um, hits from, uh, you know, CS from the turret.
and now that I'm level six, he's he's gonna have he's gonna have a problem staying out of my range. I'm really waiting for, you know, Eve to kind of try and come up and gank me up top. I mean, I've made my presence known, um, especially the Volibear. There's not, again, I mean, there's not a lot that he can do. He has to stay back. I'm zoning him too hard. managed to actually activate his passive a couple of times. I mean really what I want to do right now is I kinda want I kinda I really want my minions to just go ahead and push. But or rather his minion to push. But I don't want to lose out on CS at the moment. Ah, uh, this is what I wanted. get me. Yeah, well, that's the price I pay. And Eve actually comes up, and I actually haven't seen Eve, but that's okay. Um, I mean, Volibear is able to go ahead and do a lot of damage. Granted, he needed that, but um, if you take a look at the CS, I, that one kill only basically puts us on a level playing field. It doesn't do anything else for him. Um, I mean, granted, he's now level 8, and I'm level 7, but that's about the only thing that, that's the only thing that he really has going for him. Anything else is basically, you know, kind of fluff on the side. Um, I mean, he has 13 CS to my 40. Um, you know, I'm, ba I'm literally going to be able to go ahead and just, you know, continue to zone him and continue to do, um, you know, a lot of damage. So, it, I, I mean, at this point, I mean, it makes it really hard. Um, I didn't realize his, uh, the one thing that really hurt was that his ultimate was up, um, and uh, he managed to get his ultimate in on me. Uh, for quite a few hits, but, uh, that's really not going to do a whole lot of good for him, because, again, he doesn't, he's not going to be able to, uh, to really zone me. Um, the best that he's really going to be able to is, um, you know, maybe be able to go ahead and prevent his turret from going down. I mean, if you take a look at it, I mean, that's, he's only got, um, the regeneration amulet, that's it. There's nothing else that he has. And I'm really waiting for him to come up. Um, Ah, 
Ah! And he gets me with another ignite. And I was just barely on the edge. That's not, um... Actually, really wasn't conducive to what I wanted to do, but that's okay. There's actually not a lot that Volibear is going to be able to do here relatively soon. Um, I need G to come up and gank top and put a little bit of, you know, at least a little bit of pressure on it. But, you know, again... Just to get away because I don't have my third charge. Yeah, without his um Without Volibear's actual turret in order to go ahead and help him out, there's not a whole lot that he can do. So he manages to come up and save the turret. Yep, Bolivar is going for the hit point. And now I'm just going to let Hannah Bolivar take, uh, take that charge. Oh, really? The killing blow was rolling thunder for 336. That's absolutely insane. I gotta admit that. That was insane. But Rolling Thunder Ignite, not much you can do about that. But Volander's going, oh, he is, he's going for the uh, Warmog first. Not necessarily the best idea, but he's going for Tank, so I know at this present time, there's not going to be a whole lot that he's going to be able to do, at least in the near future.
probably going to lose my turret up top. It's trying to help the bottom, but there's not a lot you can do in order to help them. Yeah, lost the top. There's not a lot you can do in order, like I said, there's not a lot you can do in order to help somebody like that. Um, The problem with Fall of Bear is that he's gotten, he actually got off quite a few lucky hits, um, right as I entered my shroud, um, his, uh, uh, ah, crap, I don't know what it is, but basically it's the ability that lets him chase everybody. Um, he, he, he actually managed to get that off, uh, a couple times in order to be fairly effective. And the problem is, is that since he was able to get that off, he was able to get a few more hits off than I would have liked. But, you know, again, he's... He and I are actually probably even if I had to, um... See, I have 89, it is 47. No, hold on, I have 97 to his 47, so I have 50 more. So he's got... He's probably got me by just barely a kill. Not even that. And one of the main problems is, is that when you leave um, your lane, you risk losing your turret. Because he doesn't have teleport, The enemy team got the dragon, that's okay. I don't know where Eve is, otherwise I probably would have taken Zara on. And that was actually a good uh, good idea that I didn't, because here comes Volibear. Now, I did go ahead and I did actually take their blue, so they don't have their blue. Um, and that's actually really going to hurt Zyra, especially in the long run. So she can't do a lot of her, she can't do a lot of her major combos. Um, yeah, Volibear has three and one and no death. So he's actually probably he's probably going to be worth quite a bit. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Zyra that actually finished that out. Um, I don't right now is not the time to go ahead and try and cowboy it in order to try and use um, Akali as her assassin ability. Again, they are they have a fairly squishy team. Um, there's not a whole lot that they can do right now regarding the team. Um, the best that the best that they can probably currently hope for um, the best that they can currently hope for right now is to just really be able to try and uh, you know do a little bit of damage to us. And again, if you take out Zyra's Seeds, there's nothing that she can do. That little run, that little bout that we actually just had there, 
um, put us up in a really good spot. Um, we don't have to worry about um, so much that, about the fact that they got dragon because it is still extremely close. This is where Yi actually shines. If all five of them stay there, um, Yi will actually be able to uh, do a backdoor and do a lot of damage to them, um, but he's not going to. I was afraid they were going to try and be waiting for me. Um, Really fast. I do actually like to get Rigel. Um, it just makes it so much easier, um, you know, when you're trying to actually hunt people down. Ooh. Nothing I could do. I just tried to live as long as I could. <sighs> Unfortunately, he's actually going to be more focused on... Yeah, that was not the best idea Pantheon has ever had. Um, I think he's going to be able to hold that by himself. Um, there's not a whole lot that's going to be left there, uh, and I can go ahead and I can clean up the top. Once I clean up the top, it's going to—it's really going to let me get a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, I'm actually in a position that I don't rarely find myself in, which is lacking kills. And if they get that dragon, we're screwed like that they just did. No, they didn't. The problem is, is now we're actually running around in groups that aren't really conducive to our health. Um, He's going off on his own. Pantheon's going off on his own. I mean, it's not... It's not the most ideal. And now that they've gotten another dragon, they've also gotten a lot more kills. And that's 
the one problem about not having Rigel at the present moment is that I don't have any way of slowing them down. I mean, there's not a lot that we can do right now. I mean, they have, I mean, they have a full, I mean, they have a full set right now. Um, ah. There's nothing we can do. This game's over. Pantheon going middle was actually a mistake. The problem is, is that, from what I saw down at the bottom, there we have no team cohesiveness. Which, in the end, hurts. I don't have my Rigels, I can't slow them down, I can't pick them off. The best thing that I'm probably going to be able to do is try and try and bring one or two of them um, one or two of them off at me if I can try and run the top. That's going to really be the only thing that we can do. Um, because right now they're way too powerful for us. I only need 700 gold for my Rigels. There's three of them there, they should be able to hold it off. Um, Ali's really going kind of, uh, kind of support, but, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that he can do. Um, yeah, and then they end up getting, uh, they end up getting just absolutely, uh, just stormed and there's nothing that they can do. Um, able to do a little bit of damage to it. I mean, as you guys can see, I mean, he's really no match for Akali. Um, I mean, I even took quite a few turret hits. Um, so, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that, you know, E can really do in order to prevent Akali from basically just pwning her. Um, so, I mean, the problem right now is going to be, can't, do we have enough power in order to go ahead and backdoor? Um, so... And Pantheon going off at people, because the only thing that I'm really trying to do right now is just buy us time so that they can farm. I mean, I'm not all that farmed myself, but I can, you know, still backdoor. I'm not really worried about having a Phantom Dancer, because whether or not I have a Phantom Dancer is, is meaningless. present moment, um, the enemy team's either going to have to deal with me or they're going to have to push, and right now I guarantee you they're probably going barren. Um, 
And if that's the case... Nope, they don't have Baron. They want to go there, but they don't have the ability to. Um, Pantheon can jump in, especially if it's warded. But now that I have my Rigel, anytime I dash to somebody, I'm gonna be—they're gonna have to—they're um, gonna have to actually try to keep up, or rather, try and outrun me. And that's not as awkwardly, That's not really ever going to happen. Um, not unless you have a lot of help and a lot of support. Um, I really think that they're trying to debate. Yep. Yep, they're trying to bait us into a non-favorable situation. Um, right now, they have, they do have the inhibitor down, so it's going to give them um, a little bit of a minion advantage. However, once the inhibitor comes up, they have to be careful about, you know, what they do and how they choose to go about it. Uh, you know, we can, I mean, we can pick them off very, very, very easily. Um, and then there's, there's the respawn on our, on our inhibitor. They're not at Baron. I don't, I wouldn't actually, I really wouldn't go to Baron right now because it's not going to be, you know, really in our best interest. The longer, the longer we can actually wait these guys out, the better, because it's going to give us a chance to farm. Yeah, there's not, there's nothing that we can do. I mean, right now they're going to push Baron, they're going to push the inhibitor again, and there's not going to be a whole lot that we can do about it. I think, yep, we only lost two people, so that's not too bad. But what I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for the Trinity Force. Um, the Trinity Force is going to be a lot uh, easier to get, and it's also going to allow me to try and backdoor. Um, I'm really hoping since there's three up top that you can go ahead and you can backdoor that. Um, they did have Baron, so they had a massive advantage over us. Um, so, I mean...
right now. I mean, as you guys can see, we're actually we're really starting to catch up, um, and there's not a whole lot that they can do. Um, go. That's what we needed. <sighs> What's Yee's build? Yeah, Yee's build is really screwed up. what we needed. We just need to be a little bit aggressive. We managed to pick up a turret. We managed to pick up a dragon. Um, so right now they're only ahead by one dragon. Um, well, they're ahead by one dragon and Baron. But uh, it does give us it does give us a little bit of breathing room. Um, I need 2390 for, to finish out my Trinity Force. And I think I'll be able to pick it up here. Yep, was able to go ahead and pick that up. That's awesome. Um, by being able to go ahead and pick up my Trinity Force, it's going to give me the slowing power that I need, and it's also going to give me the attack speed that I need, and also additional ability, uh, ability power. After that, I'm not really quite sure really what I want to go. Um, I may go. I may with. I may go with the Rage Blade. Um, I mean, the Rage Blade will give me quite a bit of uh, attack speed, and will also boost my ability power. Um, we have to be very careful right now not to get caught out in the open, not to get caught, you know, with our pants down. You know, if it's just like, uh, was Draven going to come down here? You know, that's awesome, but you know, we need to also be able to. Um, we need to also, oops, there we go. Oh, man. Well, we did manage to score the ace. You should be able to go ahead and pick that turret up. If he manages to down this turret here, he's got five seconds before somebody's up. That's going to be one less turret that we actually have to deal with. Yeah, I kind of figured that those minions would come in a little bit overpowered. But right now, that gives us an advantage, because even though the, you know, our two inhibitors are exposed, um, right here we still have our two main turrets. Uh, we've also, I mean, we also scored the ace. Granted, you know, they did manage to pick up the quadra kill on us, which really kind of sucks. But, um, 
Yi's actually uh, Yi's actually able to do a lot of damage. Um, again, one really bad thing about Master Yi uh, is that uh, if you don't pay attention to him and your team, like our team, um, is able to go ahead and uh, fend off, you know, an attack, it makes it all that much easier for us, um, you know, for them to, or rather for us to be able to kill, um, you know, them, and also have, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? And also give us the advantage. And right now, it looks like they may end up going there. Yep, they need to be careful. Panion's going to engage. If he can engage just... Ah, he didn't do it just right. Ooh. I'm surprised. They left us barren uncontested. That's surprising. Um. That's surprising on many levels, except for that. That was my fault. I got caught with my pants down. But now, it is gonna, it is going to give our minions the chance just to start running. Um, yep, there we go. Right there is actually gonna be, um, the turret's gonna go down, this turret will wind up falling um, to our minions. Um, yep, that turret's going to wind up falling to our minions. Um, after that, it's going to... Uh, yep, that's going to be game. The Baron, the Baron gave us the game-winning chance and the back door for Master Yi. Um, yep, and with Alistair knocking them out, our minions are free to start taking turrets, and we divided them up because I sacrificed myself. Not really intentionally, or had any means of really wanting to do it, but it just worked out that way. <laughs> uh, um, because it was uh, four on two, which gave us the advantage at that very end. Uh, that's not something you see very often. Thirty-five to thirty-five. Ah, uh, wow. Um, looks like that we had more minions than they did. Um, Wow, I gotta, I, I mean, I gotta admit, um, wow. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know if Money's actually tuned into the stream or not, and if he can hear me, um, yeah, there we go, yeah, I mean, Money was pretty easy to die. It's something that uh, that really hurts. Until the next game starts, I'm actually going to kill my screen and uh, do a couple of things here. Um, at any rate, folks, I mean, again, a lot of really what ends up happening, um, you know, there's, I mean, there can be a multitude of games, there can be a multitude of, you know, people doing things, um, you know, in the game. It's not necessarily just what you do. It's, uh, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes you actually have to rely on the other players, which can really suck. Um, You know, uh, to be honest, we wound up having a not so great mid. <laughs> um, I mean, Pantheon finally started to build tank, and we were okay. But I mean, there comes a point to where just enough is enough, and you can't you can't do anything about it. 
um, which really kind of sucks, um, you know, but, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Some people, some people know what, you know, some people know what they can do, some people know what they can't do. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's really hard just to be able to just, you know, get by in, in, in you know, a kind of a day-to-day -day process, um, with things. Um, but, you know, um, you know, sometimes, I mean, it's good to go out and experience new things and new people. Um, yeah, um, with money, I mean, money does, uh, right now, I mean, I've, let's see, I think money and I, we wound up, we wound up meeting, um, in a game, uh, um, we wound up actually meeting in a game, and, uh, I think I was Akali, and he was Shravana, and we just, we absolutely destroyed, he was in the jungle, and, um, I, I mean, I just had pretty much run of the mill, and, you know, everybody, they kept trying to get away, they were like, ah, oh, we gotta get away from Akali, but, you know, Akali is like Ari, um, except her shadow dance actually goes a lot further than Ari's, um, spirit dash does, and also if you combine, um, Rigel's scepter with, uh, the Trinity Force, or even with the frozen mallet, it's, you know, it seriously hurts, um, you know, I mean, it can, I mean, not only does it slow people down, but it can also give your team a chance to catch up. And I don't, I really haven't seen a lot of people play Aukley like I play her. Um, because I'll use my, um, Shadow Shroud in order to dart in and out in order to make sure that, uh, you know, people aren't going to come up, you know, behind me or, you know, things like that. A lot of times what ends up happening for really a lot of people is, you know, they really just rely on um, her mark of the assassin. They do a lot of damage that way. Uh, I had a really bad start last game. I mean, Bala Bear got a, some really good hits in on me, um, and my Shadow Shot was just barely out of reach. Um, let's see. LeBlanc. Uh, okay. If you can own a LeBlanc, um, <sighs> so you know what? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and I think I'll actually support. And I will let Money Summoner, um, do his thing. Um, my son will be able to do his jungle, I'll support Corky, um, ooh, he's going with, uh, Hecarim, not a bad choice, not a bad choice at all, um, Hecarim can be very versatile, um, uh, hopefully Garen will be more than happy to play the tank, but, um, sometimes people don't always do what you think that they're going to do, and they really surprise you, and you sit here, and you yell, scream, and burst at them, going, what are you doing? I need you to be the tank. And they're like, well, I want to go damage. It's like, I don't care if you want to go damage. You know, it's like, y you got to go be a tank. Um, you know, and, and, and sometimes people, they just, they don't, they don't want to play well with others um, with that. So, before the game starts, go ahead and turn the screen on. So, it looks like I'm going up against a Leona support versus a Trist. Um, Malph is probably going to be in the jungle. I think. Yeah, Malph is going to be in the jungle. Aurelia is going to be top. Now, Aurelia can be very, very hard to deal with for anybody because when she hits, she regenerates her hit points. They did recently lower that um, in one of the previous patches to make her not so overpowering. Um, but, uh, because she can be extremely overpowering, um, not only can she be overpowering, but she can also be very, very tanky. Uh, Trist is, Trist can do a lot of damage and a lot of speed. Um, it really depends on how they build her. Leona's an awesome tank. Unfortunately, what they currently have right now is they currently have a three-tank lineup. 
our lineup is only one tank, um, a carry, uh, one tank and eighty carry, a hyper carry for Akali, and then also um, Hacker. Now, if you all have actually um, tuned in to my uh, to my cast that I actually dedicated to uh, my friend that had passed, uh, Jess. Um, what actually uh, wound up happening is I actually played Soraka uh, in kind of in her memory. Now Soraka is actually a very very good character to play, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to at least capture some of them. Um, Malf is going with boots and pots. Triss is going with boots and pots, and Leona is going um, vision ward, regular ward, and fairy charm. So, uh, again, how I build Soraka is actually... Oh, crap! They are actually invading. And because they're, um, and because they're invading, it's going to cause a lot of problems for us. Um, not expecting the invade. Not when they have um, mouth for a jungle. But that's going to be okay. Um, you know, we'll be happy to trade buffs. <laughs> you know, they have, um, we have their blue, they have our blue. Um, and probably after our blue is dead, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll find out really what's going on. Um, This is really going to be kind of interesting to what ends up happening um, because they're not here. The only person right now that's actually showed themselves is LeBlanc. Um, By the power of the stars. I just really want to be careful because I don't really want to get caught, um, you know, with my pants down. And it looks like that. Uh, and Corky is not paying attention whatsoever. Um, again, I really hate um, ADs that don't pay attention. Um, I play a very, very, very aggressive Soraka. Um, because I can, I mean, I can keep me, uh, I keep myself healed very, very well. Um, and again, I mean, right now, Triss has, she has to use a potion. She doesn't have a choice. If she doesn't use the potion, um, Corky's going to be able to go ahead and, you know, dash in and really just wreak havoc on her. Um, With that, that is the reason why I play a very aggressive Soraka because Leona was unable to actually really, um, she couldn't recover from it, period. Um, because neither Leona nor Tristana actually have the ability to heal. Um, I mean, they may have, you know, their basic heal ability, uh, but that's really about it. And again, um, as I play Soraka, I can actually, um, I mean, I'm pretty much an unlimited mana battery, it is really what it boils down to. And, I mean, as you can see, Tristana's already burned through all of her potions. Um, there's, there's nothing else that she has left. You know, so, I mean, it's... Um, and unfortunately, I mean, I'm kind of cheap, and I don't play League a lot. Um, so 
So I mean, I don't really accumulate a lot of the uh, IP that uh, that is really needed. But I mean, as you can see, Triss keeps coming back and forth, and I'm able to go ahead and whittle her down little by little. And you know, again, Leona may it, Leona doesn't even have a hit point regen. She just has to go off of her basic regen for hit points. And I mean, that's why that's why I take what I take. Um, you know, so I can go ahead and I can absorb you know a lot of you know a lot of hits that you know Tristana's going to go ahead and try and poke with. You know, um, I mean, I, I mean, as you can see, we have, I mean, we have an excellent ability to not only zone them, but to also go ahead and push them around. You know, Kasana can try and shoot me all she wants. It's not going to do her any good, because unless she's shooting Corky, she's not using, she's not using my mana. You know, and I can heal myself. Yep. And see, now Tristan and Leona have had to go back. Um, you know, I'm going to pretty much have almost free reign of whatever I want. Um, magic ability power. And I think I'll wait here for a few moments and I will pick up um, my boots. Might as well, I mean, I'm here. <laughs> Um, and with the uh, the really nice thing about the Philosopher's Stone is that it does give you an extreme gold increase. Um, and after the gold increase, uh, if you combine it with all of the other support stuff that you have, I mean, it makes it um, it makes it pretty valuable. He got a little too cocky without me, but that's okay. And see, Leona, she doesn't have enough in order to, um, she doesn't have enough in order to go ahead and, again, bring me down. I mean, granted, you know, it would be nice um, for that, but, I mean, Leona doesn't have enough to bring me down. Neither does um, Tristana, not by, you know, not by themselves. And see with this, I mean, as you, I mean, as you can see right now, we have, I mean, we have pretty much clear and free reign over anything that we really want. And I'm mean, going to do an absolute massive amount of damage to Tristana, and there's nothing that she nor Leona can do about it. Neither of them have have the ability to heal. You know, and Corky has an extremely long range with his ultimate, and I mean, it's just, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous at how long of range I mean he has. 
as long as he has the bomb loaded, he can, I mean, he can go at them, you know, as long as he needs to. You know, and I, I mean, and I can always go ahead and I, I can always, uh, you know, keep him loaded up, you know, with the mana. You know, and, and again, I mean, Leona and Tristana, they can't do anything. Boom! I mean, as you, I mean, as you guys, I mean, as you guys can clearly see right now. Corky's had to go back, LeBlanc came down, um, I didn't even have to use my ulti. Now it's going to be the time to run away. <laughs> I cannot take Tristana and Leon on, not by myself. And with Tristana silence, the only thing she can do is maybe take a hot shot at me. That's pretty much kind of about the extent of her abilities. kill, but that's okay. I mean, we wound up with, for two deaths, maybe three. Ooh, ow, that's not good. Um, we'll walk came down. But, now, I have my boots, and I'm going to be able to do a lot more damage. Really, what really worried me, um, from the start was, uh, Leona's ward. And since Leona had, um, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of wards, it well, she didn't have a lot of wards. She had a ward that could see my ward and basically take it off. Um, so, I mean, it's not... There's not a whole lot that can really happen. I mean, granted, yes, LeBlanc has been able to go ahead and come down. Ah, quirky. Corky's getting a little too cocky because he's got those kills. Nice. Again, Porky's not playing smart. He's lucky that, I mean, I have, I mean, my base hit point regen 
uh, right now is 34. And again, we can whittle them down, it's just that Corky likes to get a little overzealous. And I mean, as you can see, just with me being me, I can actually wear Tristana and Leona down. It's whoever decides to go ahead and get in range. Corky's just being wasteful now, but it's okay. single one of my heels. So I used all three of my heels on Hecker. It was not, um, I mean, it was cool that I used them all on him. Um, I mean, granted, Quirky died, but, you know, it, I mean, it really kind of depends. Quirky was also, you know, way out of range. Um, and I mean, really quick, let me go ahead and explain my build a little bit more. Um, my build itself actually has, um, it actually has a lot of speed built into it. Um, to where I I take my cooldowns for my Shiveros Reverie, and I also um, make sure that I have you know a lot of um, you know a lot of ability and also a lot of um, um, rather a lot of ability and a lot of power to be able to move around the map very very quickly and also to my teammates. Uh, I mean as you can see with you know both Hackeram and also uh, you know with anybody else. Um, you know, we can zone, we can zone pretty much almost anybody we want fairly easily. Um, I mean, even LeBlanc isn't, you know, really immune to, you know, really immune to what I can do. Uh, with, you know, my ability to silence, I mean, she's not, I, her, her dash becomes obsolete. Her ability to harm people becomes obsolete. I mean, as you see right there, I mean, LeBlanc can't do anything. There's nothing she can do when she's silent. I mean, she has no choice. She has no choice but to go back.
Nice job. Oh, oh, a four and O oh surrender. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Wow. Um, that was embarrassing. Um, uh, yeah. Just wow. Uh, that, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Oh, um, that, that right there was hilarious. Um, <laughs> wow. I mean, for, I mean, like I said, I play a very mean Soraka, and taking Leona was not, um, was really not the best choice, um, especially not with how aggressively that I actually play Soraka. Uh, Soraka is a very, 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 very aggressive, um, she's actually a very, very aggressive, uh, oh, what is it, um, blah. She's a very, she can be a very aggressive support, I'm sorry. Um, and the fact that she can just be um, an extremely aggressive support just means that, um, you know, I can push people around the map if I so choose. And when you don't take uh, sustain or you don't take heal or you don't take something that will allow you and your partner to heal, every little hit that Soraka gets on you, it, 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 you're done for. I mean, literally, you're done for. There's nothing. There's nothing you can do. Um, you know, because I mean, as in, for those that are watching the stream or that will watch this later, um, I mean, there's nothing literally that Leona nor Tristana can do because I can zone them. Um, every time they get close, Soraka comes up and goes, "Boom!" Silence. And there's no, there's no response to it. Literally, there's absolutely no response to the silence because. Um, you're sitting here wondering, you know, okay, well, what do I do now? And since there's no other avenue, there's no other, you know, outlet avenue, um, you know, for, you know, Tristana and, Sor or for, uh, Leona and also Soraka, um, you know, it, I mean, just, it becomes, you know, attrition in time where enough silences, which it's absolutely mana-free, it's cheap as hell, I would be the first to admit it, Soraka is the most OP support out there, <laughs> um, because she can deal damage without mana. I mean, we saw the fact that I killed Leona, um, well, almost killed her, and, you know, I can just, <sighs> there's just so many other avenues that, um, you know, nobody takes, because they can't, they don't know how, um, you know, they don't know how to counter... Um, Soraka. They don't know how to counter an Akali. They don't know how to counter, um, you know, a good Ari. I mean, it, it, I, I hate to say it, but I mean, it, it comes down to the fact of, do you know how to counter, or are you good enough, you know, to beat other people upside their head? Um, and, you know, unfortunately at this time, I, I, I mean, I have to say that a lot of people, they just... They don't know, they don't realize, they don't understand, um, you know, what's really happening in the game. Um, you know, because, okay, let's, uh, for instance, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do a for instance here. Hold on. For instance, right now, our first two picks were Corky and Aurelia. In order to counter Aurelia, I would have definitely gone, um, well, your expand, but in order to go ahead and counter Aurelia, wow. Um, Rumble's a good pick. I probably would have, no, I would have definitely gone Yorvik. Um, but, you know, Wukong or Akali or somebody else, um, yeah, it's really going to depend kind of on what they want to do. Uh, yeah, I might as well. 
Oh, yay, someone or four left. Yeah, I kind of agree with Money Summoner. It's really good that they left because we had a really bad team starting off. I mean, it was an Instalot Corky, and then they picked Aurelia. Um, I mean, there can be a strategy to... Uh, I mean, there can literally be a strategy to, you know, almost anything and everything that you do. Um, but, you know, kind of on top of all of this, you also have to be very mindful that, you know, there are other people out there that can counter you just as easily. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people refuse to understand the fact that, you know, you can counter somebody extremely hard. Um, one of the newest heroes, Zyra, she's very easily countered by um, she's very easily countered by Ockley. She's very easily countered by LeBlanc um, because they can dash in, do their damage, and dash out without ever, literally, without ever being affected by um, you know her seeds or her her main damage abilities. And I mean, as sickening as this sounds, and a lot of you guys are probably going, well, if my abilities can just you know, if my hero can be you know, countered that hard, um, you know, if my hero can be countered that hard, well, what do I do? Well, what you do is you, I mean, you get good with the hero that you pick. Plain and simple. Um, for instance, if somebody, you know, if they ban Ockley, you know, for me to go mid, I'm sorry you just banned my second choice champion. I will now pick Ari, and I will dash all over the map, and I will smack you with my true, uh, with you know, my true damage ball, and you're going to take it and like it. There's no fans or buts about it. Um, and you have first pick, and you next a ten. Nice. Um, I'll pick anything. Um, you know, at this point, but uh, I mean, right now there's there's just so much that's going on. There's so many people that, um, I mean, there's just so many people that have done builds and counters and things like that. The one really great thing about Ari and about a lot of the champions I play is that I can come back late game if I have to. You know, if I don't get, you know, a really good, you know, if I don't get a really good start, you know, I don't get a really good, you know, creep score, I don't get, you know, a couple kills right off the bat. Um, you know, I can go ahead and I can come back because I'm not, you know, I don't let myself get pigeonholed into, you know, one champion or one style of play or I only have this, woe is me. Um, and it, you'll have a lot of people that will go ahead and, and they'll pick what they don't want to play or, you know, they'll piss and moan about what they don't want to play and they'll threaten to troll and most people don't want to lose ELO so they'll leave. Um, you know. And I mean, on top of that, um, you know, there's not a lot that, it, I mean, there is a lot that you can do to counter a lot of the stupid stuff that's out there. I'll be the first to admit that. If you can counter, you know, some of the stupid stuff that's out there, you're, you're ahead of the game. Um, you know, if you don't take, you know, if you don't take talk back from anybody, I mean, still, you're going to be ahead of the game. Um, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to play, um, you know, mid, or they don't know how to play support, or, you know, they piss and moan about support. Um, oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to pick Ari because I can. I mean, they banned Akali, so their final pick is going to be mid. And the only mid that I really fear is Cassidy. Um, I mean, I can do... Ooh, a jungle trundle! Oh, that's... That's gonna be brutal. I love trundle. He's so fun. Hey, look, it's a wall that you can't pass, and it also slows you down. Haha, uh -huh. here's the finger, go away. Um, yeah, I know, that's probably absolutely horrible of me to say, but you know what, I really don't care. <laughs> because Trundle rocks! He's a royal pain, and he's an underused champion. Ah, <sighs> oh, how I miss some of the underused and 
under-abused champion. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm going up against Heimer. This ought to be interesting. Um, Heimer is very easily susceptible to Ari. He relies a lot on his turrets. Um, oh, no! It's a Zyra! Zyra can present uh, kind of a big problem for Ari. Um, Zyra is probably the only counter, except for the fact that most Zyras don't know how to deal with Ari, especially the way that I play her. Um, not to sound conceited or anything else like that, it's just that Ari is my favorite champion for a number of reasons. Um, for reason number one, and foremost, she's a fox girl. Well, cat girl, fox girl, same thing. Um, and I've played her now probably almost 300 games. Um, there was, uh, me and Money were actually playing a, uh, a game, and we'd been in and out of the champion queue, like, twice, and, uh, the other team banned Ockley, because I, I picked Ockley both times, so they banned her, and, uh, the game just turned into a snowball. Uh, and I think that game as Ari, I had like 14 kills and Money had like 12 and we just, we literally just robble stomped them. There was, you know, nothing that they could do, literally. And, uh, I mean, the other team just started going, uh, 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 really? And I mean, a lot of people had no idea what was going on. Um, they couldn't, they just, they just didn't understand it. Um... Because, you know, and at the end of the game, it's all like, you banned Akali, one of the worst choices you could have done, because now you forced me to my main, which is Ari. Um, really quick, one of the new champions that's coming out, it's a uh, champion that has to deal with the moon. Um, there are, uh, unfortunately, I will be the first to admit that uh, there are few characters in every single video game that will ever come out that I will always play. One of them is cat girls. I love cat girls dearly. Um, <laughs> the other one is um, bows. I love chicks with bows and chicks with guns and chicks with swords. I know, it's kind of a wide variety. Um, and also the moon because, well, um, I, I, I identify quite a bit with moon and stuff like that. Uh, May the Force be with you! Yay! Like, I really care about the Force. Actually, the Force is kind of cool. Um, a friend of mine, uh, who I started to play StarCraft with, uh, loves the Force. Um, and it's really kind of funny, because he's very, very good at, you know, following Star Wars and being a wonderful Star Wars boss. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, the Foxfire RE skin, which, uh, uh, my wonderful girlfriend bought me. I love her dearly. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Foxfire Ari just looks extremely badass. Um, I like Midnight Ari too, but Foxfire has just a little bit more, um, a little bit more kick. Um, yeah. They might invade, but I highly doubt that they will. We have a lot of range and a lot more power. If they were going to invade, they would have already showed their hand. Um, for the most part, anyways. So, I just need to wait for Trundle to get into position. And we call it good. Now, one major issue that Ari has is, um, can be mana management. Um, As you can see, there is already having to blow potions um, in order to go ahead and keep up.
and again, like I said, one of Ari's major things is going to be um, mana management. And Zyra's blowing yet another potion. And Udyr is actually, um, with Udyr actually being up front and up top, um, it's actually going to make it extremely easy um, for me to go ahead and gank him. Because uh, I know that right now, And we wind up picking up first blood and trundle. Um, even though that yes, now I'm behind, I will actually I will take first blood. Um, I will go ahead and actually take first blood, go back, get my boots, regenerate my mana, and then go ahead and just be able just to uh, uh, nail Zyra down. Because if we take a look at it, granted, yes, I have a three creep score and she has a ten. I'm not that far behind, and this is going to allow Zyra to push me. Um, so that she's going to feel that she's going to be in a much more comfortable position when um, Trundle can come out and just do an absolute devastating amount of damage. Um, I had actually really wished that I, I had actually gotten the uh, the killing blow on that, but you know, as it as it is right now, you know, I didn't get the killing blow, which is okay. And right now, this is actually the position that I really want to go ahead and that I really want to be in, because right now, there's not a lot that Zyra can really do to me. And Zyra goes ahead and she actually wastes her ignite. Now again, with Ari, her passive, her passive allows, um, her passive allows her to actually regenerate mana. Trundle's waiting in the bushes, which is absolutely fine. I don't really need him to wait in the bushes because there's not a whole lot that Zyra can do to me. Especially not when she stands like that. Um, once I hit level 6, it's going to be pretty much game over for her. Mine now. Zara has actually not... Um, and with that, she should go back. Because if I hit level 6, she's done for. She did manage to pick that up with her passive, that's okay. Um, but the thing about that is, is that I have two kills under my belt, and oh wow, Udyr's only level three! Oh! Oh! Udyr's only level three! That's um, not good! That's really not good! Um, he just hit level four. I mean, really, really what we, I think really what we need is um, a ward at their blue, because Udyr is going to have to go there in order to make up time. Um, Aha! Did 
didn't get the blue. That's okay. I just got to conserve my mana a little bit more, and then I'm just going to need Trundle to gank. I'm really surprised that Zyra is actually not coming up in order to um, do a lot more damage. and get their blue because Udyr is trying to get the blue and we're gonna we should be able to actually go ahead and actually pick up that kill. Oh Yeah, the problem is that Wreck didn't follow Mouth. Yeah, because Wreck didn't actually follow his, um... And granted, yeah, we got the, uh... I mean, we got the turret, but it's not really worth it, considering the fact that um, top turret's not worth as much as the mid, at least for um, position-wise. Unfortunately, there's nothing that Zyra can do. Um, Zyra is supposed to be the anti-Ari. Just one of the major problems is is that even though that Zyra is supposed to be the anti-Ari, she's really not. Um, there's not a lot that she can do. There's not a lot that... Um, I mean, there's not a lot that she can do about, you know, the fact that Ari has her dash. Um, I mean, against any other champion, yeah, that probably would have... Um, I guarantee you that would have actually decimated them. Um, but unfortunately against Ari, um, as soon as her ultimate goes down, I can, I can move my ultimate and absolutely, you know, completely avoid it. And since her seeds are stationary, if I'm not right in the middle of them, there's nothing that she can do. She, she, I mean, she's literally stuck. And I mean, right now, she has two kills and three deaths and only 42 creep scores. I mean, see, she's trying, I mean, she's trying her best to, you know, do a lot of, you know, just to try and really do a lot of damage to me. The only problem is, is that she really can't, and I think she knows it. Yep. Uh, one of 
the downfalls of Ari is the fact that if her ultimate's down, sometimes there's not a lot that she can do in order to get away. Um, but, I mean, right now, Ari is four kills, one death, and two assists with 50 creep score. Now, Zyra has 43 creep score. The only problem is, is that she's also extremely far behind in levels. She's now only level 9. Now, granted, Malphite will be able to, um, you know, come up and help level the score, but, you know, there, I mean, there comes a point to where not even he's going to be able to do anything. So. You know, I gotta, I gotta rely on Rekitan right now in order to go ahead and, um, ah. There we go. Oh, that was a nice lure by Rekitan. Rekitan did an awesome job. He lured Uder, uh, Uder into where, um, Uder thought that he was, um, going to have the advantage. Um, oh crap, there's four people down at the bottom. Um, hmm. I saw Zyra, but she's gone now. Yeah, this, this game's pretty much over. Um, and I mean, again, Zyra's trying, I mean, She's trying her hardest in order to... Wow, and that was an ace. Um, Zyra's trying her hardest in order to go ahead and actually control, um, and control Ari. The only... The, the problem with, with literally trying to control Ari is that if you try too hard like Zyra is, she, she's trying... She needs to go, what she really needs to do is she really needs to, um, you know, try and, try and wear me down a little bit. Not try and, you know, do some, you know, do something fancy. Yeah, and, I mean, as you can see, I mean, Blitz isn't really worth hardly any hit points. Um. I mean, Zyra's level 9, I'm level 12. This, I mean, this is no longer, I mean, this is no longer a match. This is more, I, I mean, this is, this is more of a slaughter than anything else. Um, I do like I do like the uh, mechanic that uh, you know the seeds themselves they can't be um, you know they can't be bashed by you know um, basic attacks. I mean, Blitz is trying to come back. I mean, they're trying. I mean, there's just there's so much that. Um, that, you know, happens. I mean, right, it, right now, I mean, this is, like I said, this is not a game, this is a slaughter. Um, unfor I mean, unfortunately, Zyra had no chance. Um, you know, from, from the opening segment, she didn't take advantage of her level, she didn't, um, and she really just didn't put, um, she didn't put, I mean, she didn't put enough pressure on, on me as Ari. Um, she could have very well and very easily zoned me. Um, I mean, she could have done so much more uh, than she did. And it's, I mean, it, 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 it's really kind of a shame because I hate to see new champions, you know, fall this hard. Um, but, you know, again, Ari, Ari is a very powerful champion. She's still, I mean, she's still fairly overpowered, um, you know, no matter you know, what ends up happening, or, you know, what anybody else says. Um, and this is not actually my typical build for Ari. Um, my typical build for Ari is actually go with Arigels, uh, to slow them down, but, I mean, I have, I, I have so much gold and so many kills that I'm just gonna go with a Rabadon's Death Cat. It, 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 that's the only, I mean, it, it makes sense. 
Um, I mean, we still have all of our turrets up. Um, it's 21 to 3, you know. It, and I mean, the, I mean, again, I, I, I really hate to say the fact, you know, I really hate to say this, but, um, you know, <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's just, they're outclassed, they're outplayed. Um, and, and I mean, money is saying that you know, their team's just really, really bad. Um, I wouldn't actually say that their team's bad, because I mean, their, their team, they actually have quite a bit of skill on it. Just, the problem is that the champions that they picked were hard countered. Um, I mean, Malf was hard, ca hard countered by Rekitan. Udyr was hard countered by Trundle. I mean, Trundle has, you know, more versatility, and he also hits so much harder than um, Udyr could ever hope. Um, Zyra tried to go ahead and hard counter me as Ari, but, I mean, there, there's no point. You can't do it. I mean, literally. You know, Udyr's trying to go ahead and trying to, you know, push me around a little bit, but he, he doesn't have the power. I have both, I mean, I have both my flash and my heal up. I, I, you're not going to stop me as Ari, period. I mean, Udyr can, I mean, Udyr can try all day long to pop out and try and gank me like that, but Udyr's level 10 versus, I don't know what level that was, we'll see here in just a minute. Um, I mean, Udyr was level 10 to, I think it was like level 13. Um, no, I was level 14. So, I mean, it... He lost his power when he got ganged um, in the jungle. And then Trundle also stole his red, which puts him significantly behind. Um, Zyra, lost, uh, Zyra lost a lot of her power. Um, Zyra lost a lot of her power when she started to lose the middle against me. And losing the middle against me makes her, mm, I would probably say, I don't want to say it makes her horrible, but I want to say it puts her in, it puts her in a situation that's not, let's just say it wasn't necessarily going to be ideal. And... When you lose against a powerful champion like Ari, and you let Ari gain ground on you like that, there's nothing else you can do, literally, except for just kind of sit there and take it. Um, you know, she didn't have the ability power, she didn't have the sustain, she didn't have, um, she didn't have a lot of the tools that she needed in order to counter Ari. Had she had had the tools that she needed in order to counter Ari, um, you know, she she could have been way more aggressive in planting the seeds. Um, you know, around uh, by having the seeds, you need to always make sure that you're in close proximity. So when they start approaching them, you can go ahead and you can pop them, get a few um, you know good shots in. Um, you know, as Zyra, I have I, I, as Zyra, I have spell steel. I have a massive amount of spell steel, and there's I mean, in, there's not going to be anything that's ever going to change that. Um, I build my champions for spell steal. I build my champions for sustain, because the longer I can stay in the lane, and the more I can force you back later on, that's going to be the more levels that I'm going to have, the more CS that I'm going to have, and the more you're going to have to rely on your jungle to come up for a gank. Um, I mean, we saw Udyr tried three, maybe four times at the very beginning to come out for a gank. Granted, did I use my flash? Yes, I did. I used my flash to get away, but I also didn't have my charm at the time. Um, and it makes it extremely hard when, I mean, there's, um, you know, when there's an extremely competent player on the field. Uh, you know, and in, in my case, I mean, I do have a lot of ELO. I will be the first to admit that I have a lot of ELO. Um, but I've also lost a lot of games due to, you know, poor teams or maybe I had a rough game or, you know, something else happened. Um... You know, but a lot of people, they just, 
some people can't recover, some people can. Um, and I guess that's really what it boils down to is, are you a person that can recover from your mistakes, or are you somebody that's going to crumble under pressure? Um, a lot of people don't, I mean, a lot of people really don't know how to, you know, defend against an RE that's gained ground. They don't know how to defend against, um, you know, uh, a, a, a champion that just literally outplays them left and right. Um, you know, and I, I, I mean, it's very intimidating and it's also extremely hard in order to be able to deal with that. Because you just, you just, you don't know. You don't know what's coming. You don't understand what's happening. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it makes it incredibly hard um, in order to, you know, in order to deal with it. Um, it makes it incredibly hard, you know, to sit there and be killed over and over again and not get disheartened and not go, well, this sucks. And, I, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that, you know, when I'm having a horrible game or when, um, you know, it just, it looks really, 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 really bad, um, you know, I do kind of, sometimes, you know, I will just say, screw it, I'm going to give up. You know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, do this, or I'll take a look at the game and I'll say, well, you know, I really want to give up right now, but, you know, I'm still going to try. And sometimes, um, you know, and, and sometimes, um, you know, just sometimes it is what it is. You can't, you know, you, you can't do anything about it. Um, looks like Shabana's either going to be mid or she's going to be um, in the jungle. So we'll see how this shapes up here. Mm. This royally sucks. Um, Cho's going to have to go jungle, I mean, because boss lost and insta-locked on mid, which which hoses everybody um, out of what they want to do. And um, if Cho doesn't go jungle, it's going to screw us. Um, I'm going to go AD, and I'm going to throw on uh, their anti-team. Oh, oh, you are not going Blitz. You are going Blitz. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be good for them. This is so not going to be good, dude. Oh. Um... A blitz vein combination is extremely deadly um, on uh, on this game, just because of what winds up, just because of what a can and will happen. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, blitz is, once blitz grabs, basically if blitz grabs near a wall, vein can jump in and go condemn extra stun. Blitz knocks them up in the air, and by that time, vein's already been able to get three, four, maybe five hits in. And it's pretty much game over. Um, I mean, it's... I can't believe you went blitz, but you did. I am happy. This is going to be a um, very interesting game. <laughs> uh, um, 
really quick, the reason why it's going to be a really interesting game is because um, Aurelia can go tanky, Ali can go tanky, and Shivana can go tanky. Here's the problem. Hit points mean absolutely nothing to Vayne. Um, you can be incredibly evil and go a Blood Razor as well, and combine um, Vayne Silver Bolts with Blood Razor. Um, it's absolutely ridiculously broken and overpowered. <laughs> um, Blitz has the ability to, I mean, granted, yeah, they may have Alistair, but if we have, you know, Sight of the Bushes, Alistair's not going to be a problem. Um, the most he'll be able to do is maybe knock Vayne away, who can dash back in. Um, I mean, they right now, I mean, they have Ash and they have Alistair. So they have kind of two stuns, they have a slow or a stun with Aurelia, and they have Zyra. Um, and then they have Shivana. Shivana is not going to be as powerful in this in this matchup as um, Mordecai. Uh, Mord's going to be able to absolutely decimate Aurelia. Um, provided he plays correctly. Provided anybody plays correctly, you, you can decimate your opponent. Um, but if we take a look at it, we have three tanks. They have three potential tanks. Our tanks are Mord, Cho, and Blitz. Their tanks are going to be Aurelia, Alistair, and Shivana. I know a lot of people that don't build Shivana tanky. Um, I mean, my build on Shivana is Berserker Boots, Riddle Lantern, um, and then I'll get a War Mogs, and then I'll get an Atmos Impaler. Um, then after that, depending on what the other team is, um, will depend on what my next two items are. Is it going to be an Armor and a Magic, or is it going to be two Magics? Um, for, I mean, for this team right here, um, this is going to be AP, AD, 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 and Allie's going to be a little bit of AP. Um, so, I mean, I would probably get an Armor and a Magic Resist, to kind of uh, minimize Zyra and also Alistair, so you know I'm not getting pwned. Um, but I mean, as Shivana, you can you can basically build her the invincible. Um, with Shivana in Dragon form, uh, when she first originally came out, uh, I had almost 300 armor and 300 magic resist in her Dragon form. Um, and her Dragon form, you were not killing my ass until it was done. And by then, I still hit like a Mack truck. Um, and a lot of Shivana players, they don't build like that. Um, and I think that's really what winds up costing them uh, the game and also their build. Um, and I think I forgot to turn my screen back on, so I apologize um, on this. Uh, if I actually exit out, it actually will not reload. Um, so I'm not actually going to do that. So, that's okay. With Vayne, kind of how they have it, they may try and steal our red, so, you know, we'll probably, um, yeah. Uh, record isn't anything. Or rather, record isn't everything, let's put it that way. Um, and I don't think that they're going to invade the way they would have showed their hand by now. He's not building sustain. Ah. Oh well, whatever. Just means that me and Blitz actually have to win. Um, me and Blitz can probably win our lane, no problem. Um, me and Blitz have actually done a really good job. Um, he was an AD carry, and I was a first-time Blitz, and I was grabbing people left and right, and it was, I, it, it was just absolutely amusing at uh, how much damage the two of us would do, um, you know, and, yeah, there's Aurelia, Cho, Ira, so, I don't see the bottom team, but that's okay, oh, there's Ash, Blitz is firing off his, I 
Yep, saw that coming. That's so not a good idea. shooting the, uh, the turret minion first. Otherwise they probably would have been able to get three shots on Alistair. Um, until I'm actually able to get hard champion to control sometimes, and Alistair's actually done a really good job at keeping Ash alive. Aha! Got killed by Alistair. It's okay, though. I will take the death to Alistair. Um, I'll take one death to Allie. Uh... Ooh, and Ash ended up getting the kill on me. That's okay. Later on, um, if they want to continue hiding in the bushes, um, if I have to, I'll buy a ward and uh, I'll throw it out in the bush. Um, and then that way there's not going to be really a whole lot that they can do. Uh, as you saw, I mean, with the Condemn, it basically rendered Ash pretty much useless. Um, and now, I mean, Ash has a, uh, Ash has a Doran blade. Ah, can't catch them all, Blitz. not doing that great of a job either. Yeah, that's what a good R is supposed to do. not going the best for us, and then there's Shiv in the jungle, we have no help from our jungler. Yeah. And it's not really Cho's fault, Cho actually um, wanted to go top, and Ward was going to go mid, really the fault lies on Boss Lofton. Um, Cho really needs to screw the race and actually protect his red, um, because that's where Shivana is, and she's already gone.
we have a bad Ari, we have a bad, we have a bad Ari, a bad Cho. We pick up one kill in the jungle, and then that's that's it. That's kind of pathetic. Um, yeah, and the only kills on the team are me and Blitz. Yeah, this is gonna suck for me. I'm under leveled, I tried to help Cho, and Cho doesn't even kill the final <sighs> The only thing that we can do right now is actually hope and pray that this actually goes to late game. Almost. My fault. Yeah, there are tops all over the map. Yeah, the only five kills. Oh, I'll take that back. Okay, Ari's gotten a kill. Wow. Yeah. I don't really want to go with Dezeal, but I don't have a choice. I mean, I'm going to build a Phantom Dancer anyways, it's just I would have much preferred to get a, um, nice job, Mord, finally. I would have much preferred to actually get a, uh, BF Sword, but that's probably not going to wind up happening. Um, They come down because we're actually doing fairly good. Nice job, Blitz. I don't know. Uh, to be perfectly honest, Blitz, I have n or money. I I don't know why they come came down here. We don't need them. I mean, are they coming down here to try and, you know... Yeah, Blitz, I, I, I don't know why, they, why they're trying to come down. Looks like Zyra's coming down. Wait in the bushes for her. 
No, she's not going to come down. All right. Well, we got this turret bliss. Um, go back, heal up our mana, and we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Oh, oh, no, stay here, stay here, wait, 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 oh, no! Yep, they're coming down, they're trying to come down, they're trying to go ahead and, uh, catch me in a pincer attack. There's Shivana. Ari doesn't bother to come come in and help. She just goes ahead and she just stays there. Thanks, Ari. I love you too. You just cost me a death that I didn't need. Oh well, I got half of pretty much everything that I need. Yeah, Blitz, you may want to head back. Well, Ash might be on that turret. Uh, yeah, Ash is going to be on the turret. I think I can hold her off. Let's see, one R line. I don't know about everybody else. Hey, Blitz, can you tank? Nice, Mord. Yeah, you went, um, you went, um, kill the stream. The stream will actually take up a, a lot of your, uh, a lot of your, uh, bandwidth. Like Shivana went back. Man, I can't believe I have five deaths. Um, I mean, as you guys can see, I mean, Vayne's incredibly powerful. Um, like to try and pick up the dragon.
and they all stay up top. Yeah, this game's over. There's nothing we can do. They're way too fed. Yeah, our show is 0 and 6. Yeah, well, what did you expect from Mord? They just focus me down. This game's over. The skill level of the other players, it, 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 it's really hard at the fact that um, I mean, right now, I mean, it's just, it's really hard at the fact that there, there's nothing we can do. Um, the only way, the only way that I can really foresee us winning is if, you know, they're actually able to go ahead and actually protect me. Um... Yeah, moored with no sustain, more, uh, I mean...
At any rate, um, you guys can actually see how powerful Vayne is just by herself. Once the Blood Razor actually gets going, um, I really think that the only way that I'm really going to survive is if I wind up actually putting on some armor um, in order just to really avoid Zyra and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to have to rely on Vayne's Silver Bolts. The Silver Bolts themselves, they can't be resisted, period. Um, which is great because after three hits, I mean, you end up losing eight, 60 plus 8 percent of your maximum health. So, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing that really anybody can do. Um, Cho's feeding. Ari's not doing the greatest. Um, I mean, Aurelia is basically running, is basically running, you know, with the tables on everybody. Um, ah! probably shouldn't have chased, but Ari's gone 
I mean, they've all pretty much done nothing except for me and Blitz. Cho hasn't done anything. I mean... Out of the 27 kills, I've been the cause of 9 of them. Or, all but 9. Ash is going to end up getting the bottom turret. Um, there's not going to be anything that I can do about that. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like that she's actually finally going to go after it. I mean, right now, the only... The next thing that I have to buy is going to be, um... It is going to be an Atma's Impaler, and I'm just... Right now, I'm just trying to rack up minion kills. Because that really is all I can do. Because I gotta, I really gotta build those war mobs up. Yeah. I mean, I need people to protect me because Vayne's kind of squishy. But as soon as Vayne's not so squishy, she'll be okay. My team just stands there. Nobody has any magic resist. Oh. It's not Ash. It's not Ash that's doing all the damage to us. It's Zyra. Aurelia and it... Uh, I just want to know if it's there or not. If it's there, I can probably snipe it. If it's not, eh, no loss. Shows level 13.
we actually got another turret. I'm amazed. Yep, my team doesn't protect me. Yeah, this is game. Moore's not going to be able to survive that by himself. There's just no way. Even with two turrets helping him, I mean, the only thing the only thing that we have is, I mean, show fed. Um, I mean, he was absolutely horrible. Uh... The only thing, the only hope that I have right now is if I go ahead and I try and backdoor him.
Yeah. Yeah, the only the only real reason why we're actually still in this and why we're actually keeping the kills somewhat close is because unless they all come after me all at once, there's not a lot that they can do. And unfortunately right now, I mean I do have forty five you know, I mean I have I have the hit points. I mean, Ash is trying to backdoor, and I think what I'm going to try and do is backdoor, um, if I can. If I can backdoor and only have, like, one or two of them to deal with, I think we'll be okay. doesn't know how to build, he doesn't know how to, to use his ultimate. I think I'm just... yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run.
caught, wasn't really paying attention. Oh well. I just really wish they'd finish this. This game was over well over 40 minutes ago. Yeah, it was. That game was beyond stupid. Ugh. Good night, y'all.